My name is Felipe. I'm a creative director here at MakerBot. And today is going to be an extruder overview. Where we're going to be talking about some of the materials that you can print with the extruder, specifically for the method system. So I have here the current layout of six extruders for the MakerBot method. Depending on which printer you buy, which model you buy, uh, you will get a different set of extruders. You can always add to those extruders. Let's just start with what the extruder is. But it's essentially the final element that touches the filament and the element that actually will heat up the filament and will allow it to flow freely, basically liquefying it and then in moving itself, define the shape and ultimately print your part. We have six extruders right now for the method family. Extruder one and two are the ones that come by default with the method, the regular standard method uh, printer. With extruder one, you will be able to print your basic polymers, so kind of everything standard uh, for 3D printing, PLA, ETG, nylon as well. Uh, our tough material is also covered by extruder one. So fairly, you know, variable and, you know, it's most likely that, you know, we will be referring to lower temperature polymers and especially some of the polymers that don't require such high temperatures on the chamber itself. Extruder two is going to be our first support extruder and it's a dedicated PVA extruder. PVA is essentially Elmer's glue made into a filament. It's a, a water soluble material. That means that essentially once you finish printing, you can just dunk your parts in water and the material itself will dissolve. Extruder 1XA and 2XA would be the ones that come with, as the name suggests, the Method X variant of the printer. And they follow a similar logic in that the 1XA will be the material extruder and the 2XA will be the support material extruder. But with the 1XA, you will be able to print all of the more advanced polymers within our portfolio, ABS, ASA, the polycarbonates, PCABS, all of the materials that require a higher temperature to be printed at. The 2XA, which is our second support material, this is compatible with the Stratasys SR30 material only, so dedicated for that material specifically. And the main difference between, you might be wondering, the 2 and the 2XA, so the 2 will print with PVA, the 2XA will print with SR30. Both materials are soluble, however, PVA is water soluble, so you only need water to dissolve PVA. The SR30 material, it dissolves in water Water, but it needs an extra agent and it actually needs also for you to heat up the water a little bit so you do need a washing station for this material it's a seamless process in that you just dunk your part in the water in the solution and the supports go away uh, but it's definitely you know it requires a few more steps than the PVA however this support material is actually super useful when you're printing more challenging materials like ABS like ASA like polycarbonate so these two extruders are compatible with the method X printer which is the one that I have here that unlike the regular method printer will go all the way to 100 deg degrees Celsius in the chamber then we have extruder 1c the 1c extruder is actually the one that we released for our method carbon fiber edition and this is actually specifically tailored to work with composites and more specific than that it actually supports both our carbon fiber materials nylon 12 and nylon, nylon 6 carbon fiber and then some you know that might be coming later so when you see the, the method carbon fiber edition it will actually come with a 1c extruder and now for supports you can use either one so you can use either pva as supports for carbon fiber or sr30 as supports for carbon fiber and finally our labs extruder which is kind of like our open platform our open extruder that supports basically any material that you might want to throw to the printer regardless of the manufacturer the supplier as long as it's 1.75 millimeters in diameter so if you're thinking about exploring a little bit more doing a little bit more uh, sort of research or just want to see what's possible with 3D printing in general. We introduced the second generation of the Labs extruder. It actually has a few components inherited from the 1C extruder to be able to support much more aggressive materials when you're printing. When you get the Labs Gen 2 extruder, you know, it's kind of a really nice packaging. Here's your extruder. As you can see, one of the first differences that you will see from the standard extruder to the Labs extruder and the 1C, for that matter, is that the tip is now exposed. For the Labs extruder, you're actually able to easily replace the nozzle, right? Inside of the box, you will be getting a set of spare parts, the new, you know, the additional nozzle, as I was saying before, a little wrench tool, additional PTFE tube. It also comes prepared with your hex tool. You remove the set screw, pull out the nozzle, replace the nozzle, and you're essentially ready to go again. It's not just saying that you could potentially print with other materials, but actually giving you the tools uh, to do so. This is Felipe, and happy printing. See you next time.